Hey there, I'm Officer Blue Gun, and today we've got a video out of Baltimore, where a suspect takes 33 shots at police, and police take 40 shots back at the suspect, and apparently, 7 shots makes all the difference. And that's what we call accuracy by volume. It all started on June 29th, when Baltimore police located the 40-year-old suspect, Daryl Gamble, who had a bad habit of carrying around drugs and guns, and had an active warrant for just that. It's kind of a shame that he couldn't figure out how to break those bad habits sooner, but maybe if he had Fume, he would have been able to do just that. Fume is an award-nominated and innovative device that looks at the idea of bad habits a little differently. Instead of uncomfortable, drastic changes, Fume aims to take the bad out of the habit. Instead of electronics, Fume is all natural. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. And instead of harsh chemicals, Fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. I really like the white cranberry flavor. It's mild, it smells really good. Heck of a lot better smelling than a lot of habits. And the Fume itself is actually really cool. It's built really well, it's got real wood, and it has a magnet that holds the two pieces together so you can kind of sit and fidget with it. It's also got an adjustable air dial so you can control the flow. And it's fun to fidget with too, while you sit on YouTube and watch all of my videos. But for real, like watch all of my videos. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head over to tryfume.com slash officerbluegun or scan the QR code and use the code officerbluegun to save 10% off the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com. Now back to the video. Police initially tried to stop the suspect, but he took off from the traffic stop and did his best impression of a female driver by running into a curb and disabling his front left tire. He realized he wasn't going to be able to escape with police in pursuit, so he ditches the car and begins shooting at the pursuing officer. The officer pursues the suspect on foot while continuously taking rounds from an automatic handgun with a 50 round drum mag. Somebody get my truck? It's one block left. While utilizing gangster shooting mechanics, the suspect falls on his ass, discards his handgun, and switches over to a rifle. and then gets absolutely slumped. The suspect forgot that police don't fight fair and they bring friends. So now let's take a look at the body cam from the five different officers who engaged the suspect from behind. Where, Where is he? For Officer Johnson's part in this, it looked like he got hung up in his seatbelt getting out of the car. But when he gets out, he sees that the cover in front of him and to his left is all taken by his partners. And he doesn't want to create a crossfire situation moving over that way. So he chooses to move out to the right, away from cover, out in the open. But he keeps the crossfire lanes open and he's able to lay down a lot of gunfire on the suspect very quickly and effectively. He's got a rifle. He's got a rifle. 100. 100 North Milton. It's right up here. Is that Roman? Yeah, that's Roman, dude. Where is he? So are we going 6 6 one or what? Go, 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 I have to admit that when I first watched this, I thought Officer Gutridge was fleeing from the gunfire, but if you actually pay attention, you realize that he was moving forward putting rounds down range, and he realized he was overextended without cover as the suspect was gaining cover. His partner to his right got into cover, and he went backwards. Once he got there, he, he got reassessed he and then immediately pushed forward and re-engaged again. There's a rifle. He had a rifle. He's got a rifle. 
As for Officer De Jesus, he immediately finds the first piece of cover available and puts rounds down range at the suspect. Uh, we see why Officer Gutridge had to flee so far back because this piece of cover was taken. Uh, we also hear the tone that occurs a few times, and that's from Officer De Jesus trying to key up on his mic, but somebody else is on the radio, and that's the tone you're hearing right there. Good job by Officer De Jesus, though, getting in there, finding cover, and engaging the suspect quickly. Next, we're going to see Officer Nolte experience a whole bunch of firearm malfunctions, and I'm going to suggest that he lubes up that handgun a little bit more because that thing does not want to cycle. So whether or not the malfunctions of the firearm were Officer Nolte's fault, whether it was dirty or not lubricated or needs to be armored, maybe it was just a malfunction that sometimes happens with firearms. I slowed down the video here for his initial gunfire volley out of the window of the car, and it doesn't look like there's a lot of aiming occurring here. There's a lot of one-handed manipulations at a pretty long distance, and it seems like he's just trying to throw lead down range. I get it for the situation. However, you're responsible for every bullet that comes out of your handgun. And if he was to shoot somebody on accident down the road, across the street, because that's how poor the aiming looked, well, it's kind of on him. No one's gonna be in this light. Hold the light, hold the light, hold the light! Stop, stop, stop! Officer Benossi here does a fantastic job. He comes out of the vehicle quickly, he runs around the back, and Officer Gutridge begins to run into the line of fire, into his line of fire, and he immediately ceases fire, moves up, gets a new lane of fire, and continues to put rounds down range. He ends up having a slight malfunction with his firearm, which he quickly diagnoses, and then he's right back into the fight. And then we see a beautiful combat reload here as he finishes the job, moving up on the suspect, Securing the scene with the threat neutralized. Threat neutralized. How do you guys think the officers did? Was there anything that stood out? Something you wanted to mention in the comments? Had a question about? I read all the comments, especially if there's a question, I try to respond. And I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Fume, for sponsoring this video. If you want to see another shooty shoot video, there's one right up here for you. And until next time, take care of yourselves.